According to a massive new report from Axios, a group of Donald Trump allies who in previous reporting had been described as running a quote, shadow government preparing for a Trump second term. Well, now they're working on even deeper plans. And these deeper plans involve effectively purging the entire department of justice and replacing all of these employees with Donald Trump's loyalists. Here's what happens when a new president comes in, they've got roughly 3000 political appointments they can make to various positions within the DOJ, which of course includes the FBI and other entities that Donald Trump has referred to as the deep state. So you get about 3000 people, which is a hell of a lot. I didn't realize it was that many, but the president gets to put about 3000 people in that's, you know, the upper crust, everything below that is actually protected. And these people typically serve from administration to administration, regardless of party or political affiliation. They're your, you know, career civil servants, essentially. Well, in October of 2020, shortly before Donald Trump was voted out of office, he signed an executive order called creating schedule F in the accepted service. And what this did, because of course they were anticipating a Trump victory in 2020, it allowed him to go through and purge up to 50,000 employees at the DOJ by taking away that protected status. So not only do you get the upper crust, you get some of the crust below that too, basically ensuring that you've got, you know, 53,000 people in that DOJ, the FBI that are under your control. Now, Biden ripped this up immediately upon taking office. Donald Trump never had the opportunity to do the things he wanted to do. So it never happened. But now these loyalists that include people like Jeffrey Clark, who of course was instrumental in trying to get the 2020 election results overturned for Donald Trump and the other members of that group, which we've talked about in recent uh, videos, they want to re-implement this schedule F exemption which of course would allow Donald Trump upon taking office a second time to effectively purge anyone at the DOJ that he does not believe is firmly loyal to him. This would not only dramatically reshape these agencies, but it would reshape the entire country because there's a reason Donald Trump wants to do things like this. It's because of what I've been calling recently, the revenge agenda. There's only so much that Donald Trump would be able to do as president, you know, to get revenge on whether it's government entities, whether it's his political enemies, whether it's, you know, just certain portions of the population that he hates. It's only so much he could do before he would hit pushback from members of the DOJ or other government organizations. By creating this exemption, what he can do is effectively stack the deck against us, not just the one person at the top who's basically being rebutted by the 40 people below them, but getting that entire thing, all of the people so that there is no resistance for whatever crazy, horrible thing it is that he wants to do. And that of course is how it would end up reshaping America. That is how he could successfully pull off another coup. I know he'd be term limited, but if you think that would prevent him from trying to stay in office longer than he would legally be allowed to do, then you've got another thing coming because I firmly believe if Trump ever gets back in that white house, he will never leave willingly. And if he is able to stack these organizations with people who are loyal to him, not the rule of law, not the constitution, then suddenly we've got a real tyrant on our hands that can do whatever the hell he wants to whoever the hell he wants. That is the plan here. And based on what we're seeing, they've already got a pretty good head start on how they're going to implement it. And that should terrify everyone. Hey everyone, this is Aspen. And did you know that for the low, low cost of $0 per day, you can subscribe to the fair and balanced YouTube channel. We also encourage you to like comment and share, but again, click that subscribe button and help Aspen oh, not be so grumpy.